Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. The criteria necessary to be fulfilled in order to be Yetzi Lechemishna with another person. It's customary on Shabbos, on Yantif, Friday night, Shabbos day, Yantif night and day, to have the leader of the family take two whole breads and recite Hamaitzi, thereby fulfilling the mitzvah and obligation of Lechemishna, and in that way be Yetzi his entire family in the mitzvah. And the question is asked, are there any conditions that must be fulfilled in order for the family members or any of the participants to be able to truly be yitz and fulfill their mitzvah with the person saying his lechemishna out loud? For example, must the participants actually eat and partake from his bread? What if they have their own breads in front of them? They have slices of bread already on the table set up. Can they begin eating from that bread or must they actually eat from the bread of the lechemishna? Second question. Do they have to be Yetzir the Hamaitzi, the blessing of Hamaitzi from the, the person with the Lechem Mishnah, or can they make their own Hamaitzi on their piece of bread when they get it? So let's first begin with the first question regarding, is it required for the participants to actually eat from the Lechem Mishnah in order to be Yetzir Lechem Mishnah from someone saying it over two whole breads? So regarding this matter, while we do not find any clear answer in the Mechaber and the Shulchan Aruch and previous Paiskim, Nonetheless, we can infer what the answer should be. It's recorded in the Shulchan Aruch in the Mechaber 274, Alacha 3, that all the participants are required to wait until the leader of the table eats from his Lechem Mishnah before they begin to eat. No mention here is made that they must also eat from the Lechem Mishnah, and it's very possible to understand this ruling to refer to that they have pieces of bread in front of them and they simply have to wait the person who said Amaitz over Lechem Mishnah to eat his bread prior to them eating their pieces of bread. But to eat from the bread of the Lechem Mishnah is not required. Practically, however, the Alter Rebbe does not learn this way. The Alter Rebbe in Hishul in chapter 274, Halacha 4, writes that in order to fulfill one's obligation to Lechem Mishnah, one must hear the blessing of Hamaitz he said over it and eat from the Lechem Mishnah. A great novelty of the Alter Rebbe, then in order to be Yitzel Lechem Mishnah doesn't suffice to simply hear the blessing from the leader of the table, but you actually must eat a piece of his bread. So likewise records the Mishnah Brura in 16783, the Ktsayis Shulchan and other Paiskim, and so is the final Halacha. That in order to be Yitzel Lechem Mishnah, practically we rule that all the participants must partake in the eating the actual bread of the Lechem Mishnah. And therefore, even if you have bread set up in front of people on the table, slices of bread, if they don't have their own Lechem Mishnah being ate with somebody else, they have to wait until they get his piece for them to begin their meal and be ate to the mitzvah. Now let's talk about the second aspect, which is, must one be ate to his blessing of Amaitzi with the person who said it over the Lechem Mishnah, such as the leader of the table, or can he say his own Hamaitzi on his own bread that he receives from the person who distributed it? from the Lechem Mishnah. So we have a general ruling in Halacha that it is always better when one is in a public forum to be Yetze a Blacha in, with one person than for everybody to say it individually. This is due to the rule of Bereiv Am Hadras Melech that God is glorified when people do a mitzvah in unity. And therefore ideally not just on Shabbos because of Lechem Mishnah, but all the time, anytime there's a meal going on with a leader of the table, one that leader should say Amaitzi on behalf of everybody, and they should be Yetzi together with him. Nonetheless, despite this, as the Al Rebbe records in the Shulchan Aruch, the widespread custom is for everybody to make their own blessing of Amaitzi. The reason for this is that since we stated it's necessary to receive a piece of distributed bread from the Lechem Mishnah, and this may take a while to give to everyone on the table, if a per person speaks in between, he loses the brach of Amaiti said by the Balabais. And therefore the custom became for everybody just to say their own bracha in order not to enter this problem of an interval. Now the question is asked, I understand during the week when you don't need to be Yetzir Lechem Mishnah, okay, the custom is for everyone to say their own Amaiti. But on Shabbos and Yantav, when you need to be Yetzir Lechem Mishnah, perhaps in order to be Yetzir, you must be Yetzir also the Hamaitzi with the leader of the table's blessing. As if you take your broken piece and say Hamaitzi over it, it's as if you never did Lechem Mishnah. Because your piece is not two whole breads. And you're now saying your own new blessing. 
So practically, this matter is a debate amongst the Paiskim, and in fact, the implication of the Al Tereb in Shulchan Aruch and so rules the Chaya Adam and the Ktesa Shulchan is that just like you must eat a piece of bread from the Balabais to be Yaitse, you also must be Yaitse, the blessing of Amaitse with his Brach of Amaitse, in order to be Yaitse Lechemishna, and one should never say their own individual blessing of Amaitse on their piece of bread. Nonetheless, there are other Paiskim who argue in this and say that no. So long as you're eating from his piece of bread and you heard his hamaytzi, you can also make your own hamaytzi when you get the piece, as is the custom during the week. Practically, the widespread Chabad custom and custom of other communities is, like the latter opinion, to say your own hamaytzi on the piece of bread distributed to you, even on Shabbos, and even so, we still hold you your yaitze like Mishnah. Although other communities are stringent and they are always particular to be yaitze, the Hamaitzi with the Balabayis and do not say their own blessing even if they may do so during the week. So to summarize this halacha, we learned that in order to be Yaitzel Lechemishna with somebody else, when he says Hamaitzi over two whole breads, you need to fulfill two conditions. Number one, you must hear Hamaitzi from them, and number two, you must eat from the bread that they made Lechemishna over. Regarding whether you can make your own Hamaitzi when you receive your piece of bread is a machlekis in the Paiskim, and every community is to do like their custom. Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work through making even a small contribution at shulhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many Sepharim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.